รายการต่อไปนี้เป็นรายการสำหรับเด็กผลิตขึ้นเพื่อผู้ชมในวัย 6-12 ปีอาจมีภาพเสียงหรือดนตรีประกอบซึ่งใช้เฉพาะในการเรียนการสอนเท่านั้น Hello students it's me teacher Asad and I'm back with my ninth video of computer science all right so in today's lecture we are going to study about unit 3 unit test all right unit 3 unit test all right so before we're gonna start our last topic of this unit I would like to review what did we study before and then after then we will start our new topic all right let's check it out what did it study in this unit okay all right so as you can see unit 3 the first topic was the internet and information technology this was about unit 3 so in this we study about IT information technology all right what is this information technology we studied about that and we search about how we can use information technology and how we can use internet to search on Google all right as you can see here we studied about different applications that we use for searching on internet all right so as you know you can see here we use Mozilla Firefox Safari and Microsoft Edge so these are the browser we use to familiar and as you can see this is Google Chrome as well which you use on Android or Windows and then we studied about internet how we use internet and what is the thing we use and what is the purpose what is internet internet is like there are so many computer in the world that keep them interconnected so as you can see for searching on internet we had different ways that we have different steps to follow so whenever you search on internet the first one you see pick out a keyword that you want to use number two check where the source is from number three gather the information from different sources and number four present the information all right and we study about the rules that we're going to be following while using internet what are the rules that what should we do what we should not do all right then we study about IT which is information technology and the things that we study about using information technology safely as we saw in the previous video which was about using the information technology safely was it's like you we have to be careful because your personal detail don't share on internet don't share your uh, something that is personal like your ID or anything else so you have to be responsible while using internet so then after then we study about good and bad things about internet information technology all right so good thing we study about we can get information we can get familiar we can communicate we can get knowledge and the bad side was we can lose our privacy and meet we can face each other less as compared to before this can make the problems with your health because if you're using a cell phone or computer more than a more too much then it can affect your eyes and your brain or it can affect your whole body as well all right so as you can see this is our unit test of unit number three so this is our topic for today which we are going to study and in this uh, topic we will be studying out what we have studied in the whole unit and this will be your test that how many things do you understand and how much do you understand all right so let's check it out what's this about so as you can see this is the number one which is the correct about internet what is the correct things about internet what is this about so a system for finding information on, on websites a system for finding information on website this is not a system of finding information on website this is wrong okay this is wrong so we have to find the correct one which is correct which is wrong we can't we don't need to circle that one so B the information in digital form that is input together so putting information in a digital digital is like the language like PASA computer which called PASA computer is the language of computer to use to put the data in that form 
so it's not about internet so this internet is not about that okay so this is also the wrong one so C as you can see the network of a single computer this is not a network of single computer so many computer all over the world are connected with it so this is also the wrong one okay so this is wrong this is wrong okay and this one is wrong as well all right and a network linking computer worldwide a network that links so many computer 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 and it can connect all computer together so this is the one is correct one all right so this is how you're gonna see which one is correct just circle that one all right so as you can see number two which type of website can be trusted more okay so you have to see the website with the domain name dot org the name domain name dot org so it cannot be trusted because this is an organization it can be anyone organization like this can be a company it's not from uh, the con the country authenticated all right like it can be authenticated by the country so the b the website with the domain name is i in dot thailand all right in dot th all right so this cannot be authentic as well all right so because it cannot be trusted so you have to believe in the one the website is domain name is go dot th all right so as you can see here in this one you will see it can uh, allow you a signal that you can go through this website so this one is the correct one all right number three is which can be used to search information on the internet what do we use which tool or which uh, application do we use to search on internet we do we use url no do we use the address no what is the name of application web browser no we use search engine all right we use search engine that where we can search on internet all right so this is the correct one now is number four number four which is not a search engine website so which is not a search engine website all right so as you can see the facebook number one www.facebook.com so as you can see facebook is not a searching you cannot search on facebook like about how to work how to find uh, some meaning translation or find the location or finding the meaning of any word so facebook is just about the social networking website okay so this is the one is not a search engine this one is a search engine all right this is one yahoo.com google.com and bing.com okay all right so number five as you can see which is not against the privacy of others which is not against the privacy of others like if somebody something is private which is not against that this is we can ch check out which is the one a enter others computer to steal his her personal information it's like stealing somebody's property or stealing somebody information which is wrong so you can't do that so this is wrong all right share other personal information to the public so this is wrong so you can't just share somebody's information on the public this is wrong this is not it's against the privacy all right and C share a post by using your friend's account so you cannot use somebody's account without his permission if he is allowing you to use it you have to use in a limited way you can't do anything without his permission so this is wrong as well and post a comment about general news so you can post about the news if something something happening in Thailand for example you are in living in Hatyai so in Hatyai what you gonna do if there is something happening like there is a news of the forecast uh, like the weather if it's really hot or if it's raining so you can post about or oh, today's weather is really good uh, it's raining outside and the weather is really good so you can just post some news or you can say there are some uh, news from the government that you can post and write it can be for public it can have help for everyone that whoever want to watch the news so it's there is nothing uh, about privacy in this one so this is the correct one all right okay so number six we have 
Tanya follows the rules of library by shutting down and unplugging a public computer after she finishes. Who is she responsible for? So she is using public computer, the computer in a library that everyone can use. So she is using the computer of public. So she is responsible for others? No. So she is responsible for public. The public that who gonna be using that computer as well. All right. So this is the correct one, and this is wrong as well. Her family, herself. Okay. So this is the correct. And now number seven, we have who uses information technology well. Alex sent an email to her friend instead of using letter. So sending a letter by mail like sending the letter write a letter on a paper and send by mail it's difficult it they take time maybe two days three days because the postman has to go and get the letter and bring it and drop to another city wherever you want to send or an, another country okay so it will take time so rather sending a, a letter by post he's just it's better that to send an email which she can she can get instantly Inst uh, instantly mean like she can get right after he gonna send all right so it's the best way to send a message or an email to somebody else you want to send all right rather than using the traditional way of sending letter in a form of in a form of content so the this the best way is this using internet is the Alex and Patty have used others computer without letting him or her know so petty using is somebody's computer without asking the permission which is wrong cannot use somebody's computer without asking so which is wrong toby took a photo of his friend's id card and saved it to his smartphone you cannot take the picture of the id card of somebody else which is wrong so you can't take it without the permission all right so this is wrong as well and D, Kate noted down the lesson in her smartphone, brought it into the testing room. Wow, oh, this is really wrong. When you have exam, which is called you saw, and you take a picture of your answer sheet from the answer book, and then you're gonna be using your phone in the testing room, which is really bad. You can't do it. So it's wrong as well. All right. So now we have number eight. Okay. Number eight is which is not the good side of information technology. What is there is a lot of good things about internet information technology and which things are not good about internet technology. All right. Information technology. Okay. A. A. Gabby used her computer, uh, her smartphone to search for Steam's eggs recipe. So the Gabby used to use her, her phone to check how to steam eggs. How to steam eggs. So it's good. She can find the information on it. All right. So we have to find what is not not good, very bad. Okay. So it's not it's not the right one. Okay. And Louis used a chat program to text his friend who lives abroad. Okay, so Louis wants to chat with somebody and wants to know who lives abroad. So she, she wants to chat and communicate with his friend, which is a good use, right? So it's not a bad. So I would like to cross this one as well because it's a good use of internet information technology, right? And um, C, C is. Carol played a smartphone game after his homework was done. Uh, Carol play game video game on smartphone after finishing the homework, finishing Kanban, which is Kanban, okay? A homework, all right. So she finished homework and after the homework, she's playing the video game. It's good because it can help us to relax and have some other activities to do, right? So it can help some people to get relaxed for after getting done his homework. So I think it's a good a good use, right? So there is nothing wrong with this. And D again believes in the news that Ging 
chair because he trusts her. So as you can see, Yan believed in the news that Ying shared because he trusted her. He trusts her. So if somebody shares the news on internet because you believe in her or her, her or him, so this is the bad news of uh, the bad thing of internet because anybody can share the information. Maybe you have to check first that it's correct or not. So this can be wrong as well. So this is the bad bad use of information technology. So this is the bad side of information technology that anybody can share the news on internet without uh, without confirmation of any news that it's correct or not. It's valid or not valid. Okay. So make sure the news is valid. So then you have to pause. But there is no checks about valid or not invalid. So this is the bad use of internet information technology all right so you have to mark this one as well okay so now we have number number nine all right we have number nine which is not the bad side of using a computer for too long okay which is not the bad side of using a computer for too long okay okay so as you can see a bad eyesight okay if somebody is bad i uh, have a, cannot see very well using internet too long it's not good for him or him okay so this is wrong as well so b so if somebody has diabetes that he wants to use he want to use the computer as well it can help them to use it well because it can help to uh, find some information relevant to the disease all right so this is the correct one as well okay and if see you have muscle pains that you can't use the computer too long which is can be a bad side as well okay so this is wrong okay and d tired eyes and blurred side so if you're gonna be using your internet it can uh, it can make your eyes to be tired and blurred side okay which can be really uh, bad for your health okay so this is gonna be wrong as well so now we have 10 okay the number 10 we have is which is the best way to use a computer a sit the same for a long time while using a computer sitting on a same place for a long time using a computer which is very bad it's wrong you can't use computer for too long using the same position it can make problem for yourself b use a computer for eight hours every day using computer eight hours every day it's not good for your eyes for your body for your health all over the body okay so it's wrong as well C install an antivirus program to your computer and always scan for it put an antivirus program in your computer which can protect your computer from any outer sources that they are trying to attack on your computer all right so this is good because you can save your computer from uh, outer world if anybody gonna try to hack your computer okay like a hacker in a computer world okay so D link your computer to the internet without setting any password so it's not safe it's not safe if you link if you link your computer to the internet and there is no password so anybody can check your computer and get your personal information all right so this is the second part this is gonna be you this one you will be doing okay that which thing you have to study this all and write the keyword of searching that information all right as you can see here and number two as you can see here and you have to find which website can be trusted more and you have to find the keywords according to that one as as you see here as well okay and you have to write is the information both websites similar if uh, you were Paul how would you sum up the information both websites are similar so there are two important things to do to stay away from dengue virus dengue fever 
and firstly do not let uh, mosquitoes bite secondly get rid of the area where mosquitoes can lay eggs all right okay so this is the thing all right students so today's lecture was pretty long uh, because it's all about breeding and then i had to do some unit test and i hope you understood how to do it well and the last second part of this unit uh second part of unit test you will be doing it's really easy don't need to explain too long just write the keyword all right and if there is anything you kind of understand just ask me in a group line all right so enough for today okay thank you so much for watching the video i will see you next time until then bye bye